Hey guys, what's going on? The Breakboy 103 here again today and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Guys, two things before I start this part. First of all, I just want to apologize for being so inactive. I'm going to prioritize YouTube above pretty much everything else and just try my freaking best to at least get three videos out a week. So get hype about that. I am so sorry for being inactive. And second thing is, I don't know why the game spawned me outside of the cabin that I was in last part, but for some reason it did. I looked up a walkthrough on this game near that segment though, and luckily there was nothing important in there. It was just characters talking, no important dialogue or anything. So luckily I didn't miss anything important. But with that being said, we have a busy day here in the Wild West. We got to talk to Bill and Mr. Pearson. So let's go ahead and get right into it. <coughs> We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. What's up, Mr. Pearson? We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, so things are not looking good. We are running low on food here, so we have to go hunting and find some food. Guys, thank you so much for all the support on Red Dead Redemption 2 Part 1. You guys, drop likes and show love on the video. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, tweeted me telling me that you really enjoyed the video. So thank you so much for the support. I am super excited to hop back into this game. I haven't played it in a week, so super excited to go hunting here. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. All right, here we go. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad. But if it's how awesome would it be if we could just knock this guy off his horse into the water? That would be hilarious. But. My horse isn't going fast enough, and I don't think we can really bump him that hard, even if we were going fast. For some reason, the most you can really do to your friends and stuff when they're on 
horses is just make them shake a little bit. I wish you could knock them off. It'd be hilarious. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. Sweet. Don't leave it on your horse. We found some deer tracks. All right, now we got to get the bow. All right, L1. All right. There we go. Grab that bow off the horse. Keep down. I swear I'm going to be so bad at this. All right, we got to follow the deer trail here. All right, eagle eye, this is going to help for sure because I keep losing the track. All right. Keep low. This is kind of like uh, Eagle Vision and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Obviously, it's not quite as in depth and everything, but same general concept. Pretty cool. All right. There we go. I keep losing this thing. It's so hard to see in the snow. Aha. You see him? Let's go. Are you ready with that? Alright, I swear if I fucking miss. Aim for their head and neck. Nice. Yes, let's go. Is there another one? I don't see any more. Let's see. I don't think there are any more. Aha, there's another one, but he's kind of far off. Let me see if I can get a little closer Because I don't want to miss. Let's see. This should be good Get him Let's go. Wait, what? No, I missed. I Missed the head. I didn't kill it. Damn it All right, I gotta chase him now. I gotta finish this dude off We need food All right, come on. I hear him. There we go. All right, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, dear. Holy shit, for a second it looked like he shoved the knife right up his butt. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that, that he had the knife in his hand and was about to stab him in the heart. But for a second, it looked like he was shoving the knife right up his butt into his intestines and stuff. Jesus. All right, come on, horse. All right, where's the horse? Horse! All right, let's get this deer on the back of uh, the horse. And let's get up on our horse, and we should be good now. Let's see, mount your horse. I forgot what bun that is, damn it. I, oh my god, I punched the horse. Jesus. I can't remember these buns to save my life. They're so odd, like, I don't know why, but they picked the weirdest bun layout for this game. All right, so since our horse can only carry one deer, we've gotten all the deer we can. Our friend's carrying one and we're carrying one, so. Looks like that's all we can get for now, but hey, it'll at least help us a bit. Because we're super low on food. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak and... You've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? 
We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. That girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. Uh, careful. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Uh, so what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? All right, so we reached level two with horse bonding, and we increased our health to level four. Sweet. I suppose hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb. And Dutch go way back, and not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. <laughs> Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Oh shoot. Please tell me we're gonna have to like fight a deer or something. Stay well back. Oh man, I want to shoot the bear. Come on now. Aim weapon. Wait, where? I don't see the bear now. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Wait, there he is. That's a bad idea. Oh no, it's not. I'm gonna shoot him right in the heart. Hold up. No. Damn it, now I can't use my weapon. I couldn't get a good shot off on him. I didn't want to shoot and miss because then he'd see us, but oh well. Next time. I swear, before this game's over, I'm going to kill a bear. The game better give me an opportunity to. That would be so awesome. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Easy. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. All right, I gotta say, this horse riding scene is going on a bit too long. Like, I understand if you want to, like, have some dialogue in there, have a few minutes of horse riding, but this is going on way too long, and the dialogue's not even that important. They're just having a conversation. Like, how's that new horse? This isn't dialogue we need. I gotta criticize Rockstar for this. This is ridiculous how long this horse riding scene's taken. We should have been back home by now already. Have a cut scene like uh, talking about how hunting went or something like that. But this is getting ridiculous. Come on now, Rockstar. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him.
finally. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we brought some food back. Thank me, the master hunter. Alright, let's go ahead and get these deer. So overall, that was a fun little mission. It was a little annoying just like how long that horse riding scene took. And then also, like, it was annoying because... Uh, you guys didn't see it, but it took me like three or four minutes of just walking around and stuff like that or sitting on the horse and having the horse walk around before it told me what I was supposed to do. It was kind of weird. I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but those two things were annoying. But other than that, it was a pretty fun mission. And I'm super happy to be playing this game again. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. All right. Let's go ahead and skin this thing. Sweet. Well, this isn't graphic. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, we said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. <coughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> all right. That is going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more, slap a like on this video. Subscribe for more content. Ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. And yeah, guys, I'll be back in the next day or two with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully, we don't have any more missions with super long horse riding scenes. I'm sorry, but th that was just boring. I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad at me for complaining about the game, but, like, that was ridiculous. But I'm still enjoying the game overall. Really fun game. I just think that mission had some problems anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i will see you guys in the next one peace